Hello friends. You know, I wanted to share with you today something about, um, well, a recent shopping trip that I had. <laughs> well, first let me tell you where I did my shopping. You know Beaver's Den Antiques, where there's so much china and gorgeous silver, is going out of, is going out of business. The actual um, brick and mortar store is going to be closing in June. So I went there on the first day of the sale where she was beginning to divest herself of all these treasures and I bought a few things. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I bought, which I'll never use, but is so fabulous, is this. <laughs> Look, there's a little cricket, <laughs> a little cricket. Now the thing about this cricket is it's not any cricket. It's a heron to cricket, which is a very fine, fine china from um, Hungary. And I think I've told you that my grandfather is from Hungary. Um, and I think the crickets are good luck. And I don't have any hair in China because it's very, very pricey, very high end. So I thought, you know what? I'll just buy a little cricket that I won't have to have all that other really expensive china. So let me show you the damage I did at Beaver's Den Antiques. <laughs> two bags, two bags of china. <laughs> all right, let's take a look in the bags. One of the first things that I bought that I felt that I really needed, well, I'm not sure it's in here, it is. was a set of silver-plated butter knives. They're so gorgeous, look at them. Wait, you can't see them. There, like this. Now, um, they're silver-plated, they're not silver. They have an unusual shape, which is sort of a telltale sign that it's a butter knife. It's not a regular knife, so people won't be confused. I'm very excited about these. The rest of the items that I bought actually um, are going to fill out the a current set of china or um, ceramic dishes that I have, and that's the Franciscan apple pattern. The Franciscan apple pattern is the china that I grew up with. We used it every night for dinner and on every holiday occasion. So my mother didn't have two sets of china or three sets of china or more like I have. <laughs> She just had the one and we used it um, all the time. So I have a lot of Franciscan china, but I was missing a few pieces just to round out the sets in case I ever wanted to use a full set of the luncheon plates or, so I thought, you know, they were on sale. She had this lovely array of Franciscan china. So I bought three of these, uh, uh, luncheon plates. These are nine, nine inches, about nine inches, which is smaller than the regular dinner plate, which is about 10 and three quarters inches generally. Uh, now the interesting thing about this is that it has a back stamp. I'm going to be talking about back, back stamps in a future video, but this has a back stamp from about the time that my parents were married, so 40s or 50s, and it tells sort of tells the history of my family and so I'm very interested to sort of look at the china that I currently have and see what I can deduce based on the china that my mother uh, that I inherited from my mother so I have three of those plates then I got this fabulous it's not exactly a little it could be a tiny cake plate but it's more just a a pedestal plate where you could you know serve serve something so lovely. My mother had didn't have that. Then, I have, I got two of these serving platters. My mother didn't have any serving platters. This is a beautiful round, I think you might call it a cookie plate. And it has the, uh, sort of older back stamp. So this is an original Franciscan. Franciscan is a 
pottery that was uh, initially made in California and was very popular in California. It's pretty ubiquitous, but it's now antique, vintage, and um, you can find it in a lot of antique stores. So my mom was ahead of her time. And then I got also this smaller serving platter that does also have, it has a little bit of a different back stamp, but it is an earlier back stamp. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a big lesson on back stamps because if you wanna be a china collector, you have to know about that stuff. So anyway, I'm very excited about all of the uh, treasures that I got from Beaver's Den Antiques. And um, I wanna thank Barbara for rescuing them for me.